In this video, I am going to demonstrate how a third-party library can be added to Oracle Apex. Specifically, this is a tutorial on how to integrate Google's material into an Apex application. I'm going to assume you have an intermediate knowledge of Apex, but I'm not going to assume you have any exposure to material components. So let's start there. Google's material, sometimes called material design, offers a stunning open source selection of components and features. Head to material.io to check it out. Integrating material into Apex can describe a broad spectrum of workflows. Today, we're going to pick a relatively simple workflow in which I simply copy and paste from material into my Apex application. To browse your material component options, head to material.io. Once there, click Develop in the header navigation. Drill into the web section and finally find components in the left-hand nav. Take your time to admire the components on offer. There's a lot to study here. All of these designs were built on the concept of quote-unquote quantum paper. Google dreamed up a universe in which your computer screen peers into a paper theater stage on which highly responsive paper moves and transforms about your screen in magical but fundamentally consistent and intuitive ways. To see some easy and interactive demos of these components, find the GitHub link at the bottom of the page. Then, click into the material-components-web repository and find the demos link. You'll be taken to the material-components.github.io website, where many of the components have demo pages that are worth careful study. Let's take the card component by way of example a small but rich illustration of Google's commitment to this quantum paper metaphor, is the careful thought they have given to using color and shadow to communicate elevation in the narrow Z space of your screen. I propose we make use of this very card component in our tutorial, because it has no clear substitute on the Apex side. If you want a card layout similar to this in Apex, you're going to have to write some HTML and CSS no matter how you go about it. The demo pages show off how different combinations of HTML elements and classes can produce very different results. The example HTML is helpfully seeded with some provisional classes that you can use to target with your own CSS. This quote-unquote demo card class, for example. We will have to write our own CSS for these classes. Let's switch gears and prepare an Apex application to accept the material component HTML. For the benefit of those who want to follow along at home, I'm installing the sample database application from the sample app gallery. Once it's installed, let's navigate to the products page. I chose this sample app because it features images. We can combine these images with the material component card to create something that looks more like a blog or a commercial website. I'll start by copying this page to a new page. On my new page, I'm going to switch the interactive report to a classic report so that I can make use of the existing card theme architecture. I'll rename my field names in the SQL in anticipation of feeding them into my card template. That done, let's take a look at the existing card layout. Obviously, it's missing images, the structure is not as versatile as what Material offers, and it lacks some of the design features. For example, the shading is uniformly spread around the edge of the cards in a way that doesn't convincingly communicate depth. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and begin adding material dependencies to our app. First, we need to add the necessary CSS and JavaScript file references. Material offers many ways to do this, but the simplest way is simply to reference their CDN. To find this, we navigate back to material.io, go to Develop, then Web, and click Getting Started. We can then simply copy and paste the links into the appropriate sections of our application attributes. In the User Interface tab, we paste the Component Web CSS in the Cascading Style Sheet File URLs area, the Component Web JavaScript in the JavaScript File URLs area, and the Material Icons CSS also in the CSS area. Now, let's head to our templates under Shared Components. I find the card template that I'm currently using and copy it to a new custom template.
For the sake of ease, I'll prepare my HTML in a local code editor. I'm using VS Code. In a temporary file, I'll paste the HTML from the Material Components demo we saw earlier. I'll bookend my code with the necessary list element and add another custom class, demo-li, to be consistent. The purpose of these custom classes will be made clear soon. Next, I'll add the substitution strings that I prepared in my SQL earlier. Card image, card title, card text, card subtext. I'll modify this button element to accommodate card link. And finally, I'll switch out the read and bookmark text for something more sensical. That done, I'll copy and paste back into my Apex template. Great, I'll save that. Now, let's test our new template and find out how it looks so far. First, I'll head to the page designer for the page I created to edit my report. I'll switch out the cards template for our new material cards template. Let's see how it renders. It's looking a little rough, but that is expected. As I alluded to earlier, I'm going to fine-tune the HTML code I copied with a little custom CSS to create something that conforms with my vision and personal brand. Restricting myself to some fairly basic CSS attributes, I'm going to target the custom classes that exist in my HTML structures. I'll give demo-li a block display, an automatic margin, and an even padding to keep the cards nicely spaced. I'll give demo card some padding to give my card a thin inner frame. I'll give demo card media a fixed width and height, a block display, and some automatic left and right margins to keep the images centered. I'll give demo card title a bigger font, and demo card subtitle a bigger font too. Let's see how that changes our runtime environment. I'd say it's looking pretty good. This concludes my demonstration of how to quickly add material components to Apex. Comment below or reach out to me on Twitter to continue the conversation.